There have only been a handful of books that have ever made me cry. The Fault in Our Stars, The Order of the Phoenix, A Court of Wings in Ruin, to name a few. And now, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. A Monster Calls is one of the most beautifully written books I've ever had the pleasure of reading. I've spoken about him before in a previous video, but part of the reason this book is so incredible is due to Patrick Ness's ability to write such raw and emotional stories and to create vividly real characters on the page. Frankly, I was astounded reading this book at how he was able to perfectly capture authentic family dynamics and what it is to be a human going through the loss of a loved one. A Monster Calls really does portray what it is to experience loss, grief, and all of the emotions surrounding it. It follows Connor, who is losing his mother to cancer, and we see the stages of grief that he's going through, like denial and anger as he lashes out at school and at his family. This is one of those books that hits you right in your heart, in your core, in your soul, but while the subject matter is quite forlorn, it also acts as a device that allows us to adjust our perspective on our own lives. It's really easy to get caught up in the stress of existing day to day. I think a lot of us fall into the trap of work overwhelming us, or of staying in our comfort zones and saying no to invitations to meet up with friends or family. But this book was a reminder to me that our time really is short, and you can never know how long you'll have with someone. Some of the best experiences I've had occurred when I've been tired or not super keen to go out, but I've said yes anyway. Those times are some of my most cherished memories, and I can't imagine the regret I would feel had I missed out on those fun nights out or spontaneous meetups. By the end of the book, the monster helps Connor to accept that he's going to lose his mother. It's difficult for the young boy to get his head around it, but once he does, it also allows his mother to let go. But that doesn't mean he doesn't wish he didn't have more time with her, and vice versa. His mother doesn't want to leave him, but sadly it is her time. A Monster Calls teaches the reader that it's alright to grieve in your own way, and it also reminds us how beautiful love can be, in all of its many forms, and that it transcends time. So I'm left with a few final thoughts. Life is meant to be enjoyed, so get out there and make memories that you will cherish for the rest of your days. Nurture your relationships with your loved ones and don't take them for granted. And appreciate the time we do get to spend on this planet. Because after all, aren't we the lucky ones who get the chance to experience everything life has to offer?